What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Prodigy Ace, man. Back at y'all with another video. Now, in this video, it's going to be a little different um, from what I normally upload. Uh, people have been asking me occasionally, you know, what are my controller settings? You know, things such as that. And I do know that a problem in the community right now is Warzone is really poorly optimized. The graphics aren't really where they should be. And I also noticed that I was getting huge frame drops. I have a 3090 overclock edition. I have like the best, I won't say the best of the best, but I have a really good RAM setup. You know, my PC setup is pretty much high end i spent a good amount of money on this pc a couple thousand dollars the fact that i was having trouble maintaining about 120 to 130 frames on this game was bad that is bad you know and if i would go downtown um especially downtown downtown was like a bad place for me to be because my frames would drop to like 80 or 90 at that point it feels like you're swimming in water so it's really bad so i'm gonna be going over my general settings that I have my in-game graphics settings that I have. I'm also gonna go over some um, some quick tips that you that I learned recently that you guys can also take advantage of if you're on PC to where you can actually possibly get an extra 30 to 40 frames. Also, how to um optimize your computer just a little bit, you know, just so you can get a little bit more out of it. And um, also my filters as well. So I'm gonna be going over the whole shebang. Um, so guys, if you're new here, man, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to stay up to date with the latest videos. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know down in the comment section below what you want me to do next. And um, yeah, like the video, guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, I'm first going to go over my general settings. So my general settings, I have my field of view on 120. If you're converting from uh, console to play, I'm sorry, from console like Xbox or I think Xbox has field of view. So if you're converting from like PlayStation to, to PC, keep in mind your standard the standard uh, field of view for console is 80. So you may not want to just jump straight to 120 because the smaller the, F the field of view is, the farther you can see. I used to be able to see 200, 250 meters out pretty easily on console. I can't do that on here um, on PC with my field of view so high. So what I would personally recommend you do is first start off with maybe 100 field of view and work your way up till you feel to where you feel comfortable. Right. I wouldn't say just go straight to 120 because I remember I tried that and my head was kind of hurting. <laughs> so, yeah, I would recommend starting at 100 and going from there. Um, the recommended field of view for PC is somewhere between 105 to 115. Generally, 120 obviously is the best because you get the wider view, uh, field of view for close range engagements, but it makes it hard to see at a distance. So just keep in mind, find what's sweet, find that sweet spot for you and work with that. Now, I also recommend your ADS field of view. You're going to naturally be on independent. Switch it over to affected. Affected is going to help you maintain that um maintain your your aim down sight on target while you're shooting. So independent when you're shooting, it feels like you have more recoil. With affected, it feels like you have less. I don't know what it is. I'm not a tech nerd. I don't know how to explain this. All I know is affected helps you stay on target, and that's why um a lot of console players. At least back then, I don't really hear it so much now, but a lot of console players used to complain that PC players, um, they have like no recoil. That's why, because they're unaffected. So yeah, that's what I recommend. Now I have my brightness on 50. The reason for that, I'm going to explain it um, soon when I go over my, my NVIDIA filter settings, but that's why I have my filter. I'm sorry, I have my brightness on 50 because of my filter settings. Um, horizontal, vertical, 100, skip introduction. That stuff gets annoying. I enable that um toolkit I, I keep that up subtitles don't need it now this is important if you're on console i would recommend you put your colorblind type on deuteranopia i think that's how you pronounce it it's typically supposed to put a yellow um like if you're aiming at an enemy their name above them is supposed to show in yellow it used to work like more frequently i i noticed it doesn't really work as much anymore i rarely see it happen but still i keep it because i noticed that i see better that way so i have it on deuteranopia my colorblind target is on both on texture demand streaming i have that disabled mini map shape square you want to have that wider mini map so that you can see more mini map rotation i have that on enabled so that way i can maintain and you know know my positioning <clears throat> i have my compass cardinal direction text up because i want to know where west northwest south you know the directions are so that that really helps all this stuff is standard you know i have all that i have this disabled because um i don't really care for it so i disabled that um it now if you're on con if you're on pc you want to have your frames your fps counter up because you want to know when your frames are dropping I, I strongly recommend you keep that up server latency is going to let you know if you're lagging or not so i recommend you keep that up as well packet loss also lets you know when you're lagging so keep that up as well my personal recommendation now my graphics it's recommended to go on full screen but because i stream and i have a one pc uh streaming setup i have it on full screen borderless so that way i can 
you know, switch over to chat and do other things that I need to do. But typically, it's recommended to go on full screen because you're going to get more um, frames per second with that. Now, you know, I have it on my my display, my, my graphics card, obviously. I have it on my best monitor. Um, make sure that you guys... Also, you can adjust. You cannot adjust your screen ref refresh rate unless you're on full screen. So keep that in mind. If it's um if it's on a lower setting and you can go higher, make sure that you select the highest setting that you have available. Also, make sure that your render resolution is on 100. That's also pretty important. You want to make sure that that's where it's supposed to be. And your display resolution for your monitor. You could play on 1080. I don't really care for that. I have a 2K monitor, so I want to play on 2K. So that's what I'm going to select. As far as the aspect ratio, I have that on automatic, automatic, sync every frame disabled, custom frame rate. I have that on limited, highlights disabled. You don't need it. NVIDIA reflex latency. I have that on enabled plus boost. Streaming quality normal, text resolution normal. I have that on high. I mean, if you want to get more frames, you could go on the others. It's not really important. It's not that important, to be honest. I just have it on high. That's my personal recommendation. Um, but yeah, if you want to try to get more out of it, you can go normal or high, but you can go low if you want to. Uh, particle quality, I have that on high. Bullet impact, I want to know if there's leftover bullets so I can see, you know, where people were possibly shooting from. Um, it, it just helps to know if there was a gunfight, you know, in that area. So that's why I have that on. Tessellation, I have that disabled. I mean, it's not really that much of an issue. Um, I had it, I had it on, I had it on near and all, and it's, you get more frames with this. So I have it set up that way. Disabled shadow map resolution. I have that on normal. You don't want to have it disabled because it's going to make things look more clunky. So better to have it at least on normal. Uh, spot shadow, sun shadows disabled, particle normal, direct day. You don't want that on. Disable that. Disabled. Um, I mean, you could turn it on if you want to, but I have that disabled. Screen space reflection disabled. Filmic strength. Make sure to make sure, and I repeat, make sure that this is on zero. That's incredibly important. Um, the NVIDIA DLSS, I tried it. I have a 2K monitor, so I tried it on quality. I noticed that it makes things more blurry in the distance, and it doesn't really help my frame, so I just turned that mess back off. Um, people do recommend playing on SMAA, SMAA 1X. Um, I mean, I kind of just... I, I, I'm not even sure if I had it on the right setting, to be honest with you. So I'm actually considering switching back over to the 1X. So there's that. Depth of field, you want to make sure that's disabled because what that does is it basically, see, look, out of focus, blur. It's basically going to blur out when you're ADSing, like aim down sighting. It's going to make your surroundings more blurry. You don't want that because if there's another target that you need to aim at, you want to be able to see clearly and, and snap over to them. So there's that. World motion, motion blur, useless game effect. Make sure that's disabled. Weapon motion blur, make sure that's disabled, useless, and it messes up your eyesight if you have issues with your eyes. Film it green. Film green, make sure that's off. Dynamic resolution, make sure that's off as well. I mean, yeah, make sure it's off. There's that. Now, as far as audio goes, um, I currently have mine on boost low, but the recommendation is to go to boost high. The reason I have mine on boost low is because I've been making adjustments with, um, I have an Astro A40 headset with the, the mix amp. So I've been making certain changes to try to see if I can pick up footsteps better. But anybody who plays this game pretty much knows if you played enough, you know there's an issue with the audio in this game. So, I mean, there's I, I, I just can't find the best settings, man. You know, it is what it is. I've been trying to make sure that I can zone in on footsteps. And I still have people parachuting behind me and I can't hear anything. So at the end of the day, play with what you're comfortable with because I can't really seem to find the best audio settings. But again, it is recommended to go either boost high or boost low. Uh, yep. Standard stuff. I have all that. I prefer classic. I like the sound of it. So I have that on. Uh, classic. Make sure this is disabled. That's important. Um, unless you have hearing issues, make sure to look over that and look into that in detail if you do. Um, enable default system device. Open mic. And yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look that over. Now, important. My control settings. I do play on. It's called an AIM PlayStation 4 controller. This is what I play on. So I have paddles on the back as well. So the settings that I personally play with, this is what I like default because I have the paddles. Stick layout preset, I have it on standard because that's that's what I like. Inverted, I don't like that, so I disabled that. Dead zone, I have it on 0 0.05. Now the horizontal stick sensitivity, I used to play on 12. I've been slowly lowering it because I noticed that a lot of the pro players and the good players, they have it on a lower sensitivity. So. That's why I play it on 8. I'm actually considering moving down to 7, but I currently have it at 8, and I kind of feel like 8 is a good place for me. So I'm, I'm that's why I left it there. My ADS sensitivity, I have it on 0 
and then my high zoom i have it on one in response curve type the uh, dynamic i have it on dynamic because if i want to be able to turn on somebody i can the further you're into the turn the faster it turns so i that's why i like it um with the the lower sensitivity controller vibration make sure to turn that off man if you have it on you're selling yourself and your team turn that mess off man stop playing <laughs> aim assist i have it on standard that seems to be the best setting so that's why i have that there scale aim assist with fov it's recommended to have that disabled so i disabled that Weapon mount, ADS plus melee, all the, you know, all the standard stuff. I'm going to slowly go over it so you guys can look it over and determine what you want to do and what you don't want to do. But this is what I have. All the standard stuff. I started playing on automatic tactical sprint maybe a few weeks ago. At first, I was against it. Then I tried it, had to get used to it. Now I can't see me playing this game without it. It's incredibly important, in my personal opinion, to have that on so that you're not constantly button mashing so you can sprint. You're not injuring your finger in the process and you don't have it's one less thing you have to worry about um doing when you're trying to move quick or get out of a situation and or get into a situation and out of it it, it just makes it better to maneuver with the automatic tax print on so that's why i have that vehicle camera recenter i mean that's up to you i personally prefer having it enabled parachute auto deploy i have it disabled because i want to get to as close i want to get as close as i possibly can to the ground before i cut my shoot what i did notice is when i have it enabled sometimes generally the parachute is supposed to come out and then you can cut it and you should be able to hit the ground without dying but sometimes it'll call the parachute at an unsafe distance so if you cut the parachute you're still possibly going to end up breaking your legs anyway so it's better to just be able to call it on your own that way you get close as possible to the ground you can either land or cut it at a safe distance that you know is safe and you know keep it moving so yeah guys that's my setup uh, with that being said i'm going to get into the graphical settings the, the nvidia filters and then we'll go into the the reason why i'm pretty sure a lot of you are here all right guys so the nvidia filter settings this is what it looks like if you look on the left this is with it off if you look on the right this is with it on i mean it's a huge difference you see a lot better this does drop your frames having the filters on however i'm going to share something with you that'll help you kind of combat that so hopefully um this will help you guys now my nvidia uh, my nvidia settings are going to be to the right of the screen so definitely check that out guys when you get the chance make sure to sa save it pause it screenshot it whatever you got to do so that you can save that there and replicate it all right guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a 360 so you can see the surroundings while i'm also looking at the sun and looking away from it this will give you guys a better idea of what the nvidia settings will do for you the nvidia filter settings so this is with it off i'm going to go ahead and turn that way you guys can see it. Right? Now, this is what the settings on. See how much better it is? It just it just looks so much better, you know? I don't know how else to put it. It looks incredible. I love it. This is so much better. Um and it also helps me be able to see at a certain distances i messed up my, my mouse settings just now which was an accident but i don't normally play on mouse anyway so i'm not too worried about that but yeah guys you know it, it just it just helps to be able to spot enemies you know that are like in between the trees and stuff like that the lighting is better now let's get to the main part of the video all right guys so this is when we start getting to the part or the reason i should say why you guys came to this video all right now what you want to do is type into the search bar performance right now, don't click the first option. Go to the second option. Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click on that. Now, this is going to pop up. The other options, ignore them. It's probably going to have another one of the options selected. Make sure you have adjust, best, adjust for best performance. That is critical, guys. Make sure you have that enabled. That's going to give you an extra FPS boost in Warzone, as well as other games. And it'll help your computer operate better on a higher level. You are going to, the text and things like that are going to look a little funky, but you'll get used to it. Again, this is if you want to primarily play for video games, you can always put the setting back if you're doing other stuff on your computer. Now, we're going to get into the main part of the video. XMP, guys. Now, this is what XMP is, right? Essentially, an XMP or an extreme memory profile is an Intel technology that allows you to change multiple memory settings by simply selecting a different profile, taking advantage of higher than standard memory speeds, if you've ever wanted to overclock your memory but didn't want to fickle with the frequency, voltage, or timings, this is the way to do it. 
guys this is safe it's not going to jack up your ram or anything like that ram was basically built to operate on a certain level now i think it was in the past year or two this is i can't i didn't confirm it but um i remember hearing it that i think in the past year or two um the people who build the ram like these companies they've been capping them on a lower frequency than what the ram is supposed to be operating at so if you bought maybe a 3600 megahertz ram it's probably operating on a 24 or 2100 now you can also verify this by opening up your task manager going to performance and then go to the memory section which is what i just did now if you look in the memory section which is on the, uh, the bottom hand right side at the top where it says speed it's probably going to show if let's say for i'm going to use myself as an example if you bought a 3600 megahertz it's probably going to say 2100 megahertz or 2400 megahertz it's not going to give you everything that you're supposed to be getting so in order to enable this you have to go into your system bios to do that now in order to get to that part you're going to need to shut off your computer or restart it once you once it starts booting back up you press the delete key it i would just spam it you know just spam it once the computer is booting back up just spam it and then your bios should come up now at this point i'm gonna go ahead and i i can't record it on my computer because obviously my computer is off so i can i recorded it on my phone I'm going to go ahead and hop into that to show you guys what you need to do so that you can get to this section and what you need to do in there. So let's get into it. So here I'm spamming the delete key so I can get into my BIOS. My motherboard may be different from yours, guys. I have the Republic of Gaming ROG motherboard. So yours might be a little different to get to this. But look for XMP, right? So if you have the ROG, go to easy mode and then go to XMP. You're going to see it on the left side. It might auto automatically be disabled. Make sure you have it enabled, guys. Make sure you have it enabled. Turn it on. Whatever, you, whatever motherboard you have, make sure that is turned on, okay? Now, what you want to do is go to advanced mode for the ROG motherboards, okay? Go to extreme tweaker, and then go to the AI overclock tuner. Now, it automatically selects XMP1, but I put XMP2. I didn't really notice a difference, but I'm just leaving on XMP2. Make sure that all the settings are showing up correctly, Everything is the way it's supposed to be. You, you have the right XMP selected. And then, guys, make sure, okay, make sure you save the settings and then reset. Nothing is changing for me right now because I already had it enabled, but you're going to see some stuff up on there. Make sure, again, you save it and reset it and then boot the computer back up. Hop in game and see what it's like. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the content, man. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Sub to the channel if you're not already. Hit the bell notification as well to stay up to date with the latest videos. Hopefully this helps you guys. Um, You know, if you're on PC, if you're not on PC, the first steps that I gave at the beginning of the video should help you a little bit. Um, But again, most of these settings, it's it's tremendous, man. Huge benefit. You guys are definitely going to want to have this stuff enabled, man. It is It's important. It's incredibly important. It's, it's just surprising to me. I've, I've researched before about how to get my FPS boost, and I, I never found anything on XMP until recently. It's crazy. Uh, shout out to Clay, man. Clay sh uh, put me out on this. He put me out the game on this. So shout out to Clay, man. Appreciate you. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the content, man, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, let me know what you want to see me do next. If you have any recommendations on um, gun setups, um graphic setups pc setups anything that you want me to go over let me know in the comment section below and um yeah with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully it was useful and helpful to you and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out